All right, so as we move through our test, we come to number 20, and it says, which value represents the rate of change? And remember, another word for rate of change is slope uh, of y with respect to x for this function. So really, this, this phrase right here sometimes confuses us. So we look at which value represents the rate of change with respect to this function or this equation right here. Okay, so we got that equation done. Let me clear that out. So we have a function here and we've got x and y on the same side of the equal sign. Well, we know that we need slope intercept form. So we need something in the form y equals mx plus b um, because m is our slope. And one way to remember that is to go up here to our formula chart. That's right here. Hang on, let me clear that out. Let me go back, pick up my pointer. And so our formula chart is right here. So if I open this, it opens my reference materials. And so I can take this and look at the whole thing. And so I'm looking for that slope intercept form. Click there. So if I look for slope intercept form, there it is right there. My y equals mx plus b and m, that m, This M right here is the same M that is right here and right here. And this M is slope. So if you have trouble remembering that, there it is right there in our uh, little cheat sheet. So if I clear that out and go back. All right, so I'm going to close my formula chart. All right, so I need it in Y equals MX plus B. Well, one of the things I can do um, is to remember to move first and then divide. So how do I do that when I'm working on the test and I want to do this in Desmos? Well, the thing that has to move, we have to move the X. So I'm going to move that over here. And it's positive on this side, so it's going to be negative over here. So I've got minus 2 over 5x. So that's something I need to put on my scratch paper. And then I'm going to divide. Let me change to blue here. I'm going to divide by the coefficient of y. So let me show you how to do that. Hang on one second. All right, so I'm going to open my calculator. Let's see what Desmos can help us with. All right, so I'm going to uh, go ahead and put in what I see. So before I divide, I've got negative 4 divided by 7. Y equals, excuse me, 3 over 2 minus my 2 divided by 5x. Notice my calculator does not divide anything for me. I don't see anything, and it gives me the alarm over here. But if I go to the next line, I can actually show the division. This is just me kind of keeping, keeping track of what I'm doing. So if I divide everything by y, by the negative 4 over 7, I can do parentheses. Or I can actually do, yeah, let's do parentheses. 3 divided by 2 minus 2 divided by 5 x. And I'm going to close those parentheses. Then I'm going to say divide because I'm dividing that whole side by negative 4 over 7. Okay? Negative 4 over 7. So that kind of gives me the this line right here. So that tells me this is a positive line. So the very first thing I can do is go over here and go, okay, which ones are positive? Well, B is positive and D is positive. Okay, well, that's great, but that doesn't tell me what slope is. Okay, 
So I need slope, which is going to be this negative 2 over 5. I'm going to divide that by negative 4 over 7. Okay. And that gives me this complicated fraction. But if I do this, you'll see that it gives me 8 over 35. So when I click there, it gives, takes my decimal to a fraction, and I know that the answer choice is B. So uh, remember to move and divide. Use your calculator to do the division, and then bring out slope and use the click on and click off to change your decimal to a fraction and choose the correct answer. Good job. You're going to get a master's.